dare you? How dare I what? Ha! <laughs> you blinked! Well, I demand a remit! No thanks, your asinine behaviour troubles me. Sorry? You? We're about to buy this hideous thing. A lettuce? A packaged lettuce? Well, what would you like me to do instead, Mr... The name's Bond. James Bond. Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. The name's Arnie Bland, but you can just call me Arnie. Okay, Arnie. Would you mind enlightening me on what I should do instead? How about I do you one better? I'll show you. Follow me. Contemplating buying those disgusting packaged vegetables. I I had my assistant build you a very fine, sustainable vegetable garden. Well, I think the bigger question is, how do you know where I live? Well, we followed you home yesterday, of course. Don't worry about it. What? According to all known laws of science, a bee should not be able to build a vegetable garden. Supposedly, this is because they have no hands, and they are 100 times smaller than the tools they would have to use. So, how did you build it then? Do I look like a bee to you? Fair enough. Anyways, Arnie, why did you get Barry to build me a vegetable garden? Well, you see, Toby, a vegetable garden not only does wonders for the environment, but also for your health. How so? Barry, you're semi-good at explaining this. Okay, so as you probably already know, there are bugs and insects that both like to nibble on a little vegetable from time to time. Well, something a little lesser known to the general public is those big corporations in charge of supplying the supermarkets absolutely annihilate the vegetables with things like pesticides to prevent those bugs and bacteria from taking that little nibble. Those pesticides tend to be carcinogenic. Well, I totally knew that. I just want you to say, you know, just to make sure. Of course you did, sweetie. Arnie? Yes, ma'am? How does a vegetable garden help the environment? Oh, uh, yeah. I almost forgot about that one. I'm good at this. If you say so. I do say so. I'll go to marriage counselling, you two. I see how it is. I'll get on with that. Alrighty then. To begin with, vegetable gardens are good for the environment because you can control whether you use pesticides or not. 
so I can avoid the carcinogenic properties of pesticides. And so those critters running a snack can survive a little longer, which is better for the environment. Precisely. Vegetable gardens are also quite good for the environment because you control how much you plant. Meaning? Less food waste. Fair. Yeah. And since the vegetables don't have to be driven to and from places, there'll be little to no transport emissions. Better for the environment and atmosphere. Yep, I already knew that. Okay, just making sure. Can we please stop interrupting me? Yep, yeah, sorry, go on. Thank you. As I was saying, another plus of growing your own vegetables is that there'll be absolutely no packaging on your veggies. True that. What about the bees? Patience is a virtue, you know. Sorry. I was just about to get there. Okay, okay. As Barry just stated, vegetable gardens not only help bees, but any pollinating species. Fine. Well, most plants that grow produce have flowers before the product begins to grow. These flowers are then able to be either pollinated or provide pollen for the pollinating species to take to pollinate the other plants in need of pollination. You said pollen so many times, I nearly stopped listening. He has a point there, Arnie. Wait! What's up? If I wanted to build a vegetable garden elsewhere, how would I do it? Barry. You got this one. Oh, okay. First, you want to pick a location, preferably somewhere sunny, to allow for photosynthesis. Second, you want to design and customize your garden. So, like, how big and what chip it is? Yeah. Okay. Continue. Third, you want to decide what type of plants you want. Then plant them? If they're in season, yeah. Finally, you want to make sure you take care of your plants until they're ready for harvest. Sounds easy enough. Yeah, it is quite simple. Well, we just begun. See you guys. Later. We need to fly through this. Throw Tom Yong suit at your faces. <laughs>